Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy, Nasty Moto, and today we are unfortunately going to take a little break from the Bob build and work on a little side project that I just picked up. Uh, this little side project picked it up super cheap and I think we can get it going and have a nice little ski going. So yeah, I'll show you guys uh, what we're working with. All right guys, so as you can see, this is a 88 650 SX stand-up jet ski, obviously, the only things we rock with and yeah but as you can see it is in really rough shape i think it's mainly just due to the padding you know being all torn up same for the you know the front padding chin pad and this i don't even know i don't know what all that is but i think overall i mean it's pretty complete so you really can't beat that but the motor seems to be unlocked or free i guess but the problem is the pump seems to be um locked up because i can turn the coupler the the motor coupler by hand um just not the the pump so we're gonna have to tear out the motor tear out the pump see if we can get that to be free up and kind of just clean this thing up but i think we should be able to get it running pretty easily it does have a fuel filter as you can see and then i think this is like the stock 28 millimeter carb which is super small for these 650s i don't know really I really don't know how it runs, you know, at all with those things, but that's, you know, what they come with stock, so it should be fine. But yeah, I think we're gonna start by tearing this motor off or tearing it out and kind of just cleaning this thing up. Then we'll go ahead and pull the pump and just see what we're working with. So yeah, this thing's pretty minty. All right, so it appears this motor's not even bolted in at all and it looks like everything is disconnected that needs to be disconnected. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just try to yank it out real quick. All right, so we literally just pulled the motor out with nothing connected. So I believe, you know, it's definitely been pulled out before and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but now you can see the pump is just completely locked up. So we're gonna have to turn that over, you know, pull the pump, see what's wrong with it. But yeah, as you can see in here, full of oil. And I think it's because of the oil injection tank. Um, I think they tried to plug it with a wood screw and obviously that's not gonna work so yeah pretty grimy in here and as you can see there is a hole that looks like it was drilled i'm not really sure it's right there i don't know if you can see it but yeah this thing is super grimy and we're definitely gonna have to power wash it and probably you know take the shot back suck out all the leaves and but yeah pretty grimy but as you can see here the engine looks pretty good and seems to turn over freely so that is really good that's a good sign so yeah we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and pull the pump All right, so we just got the pump pulled, and as you can see here, this one is just completely locked up. Not really sure what happened. Probably got some water under this weigh ring and just swelled up. That's what's common with these 650 pumps, but that is not good. But thankfully, we do have a spare. We have a spare TS650 pump, and it should bolt right in. So that is super nice. And now we're gonna go ahead and flip this thing back over pull that drive shaft out and start cleaning all the bolts and all the leaves and all the oil out so we can throw this pump back on and then throw the motor back in so let's get it All right, we just got most of the stuff out of here, all the junk, all the leaves, all the bolts, all the random stuff. But while we were doing that, 
made a bad discovery. So as you can see, the stator wires just completely cut. And over here, yeah, as you can see, that is, so that is not good. We're gonna have to splice this all the, back together. But yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and stand this thing up and get to power washing. After a little bit of power washing, as you can see, it is pretty clean now. Definitely a lot better than it was. Uh, I don't really need it to be, you know, exactly perfect because this is probably just going to be a beater ski. So that is good for now. And I also went ahead and power washed the pump tunnel. So that is good to go. So I think our next step is going to be to flip it on its side or on the top and throw that pump in. All right, so I'm not really sure why the video cut out, but as you can see, we got the pump, the right plate, and the intake grate all put in. It's good to go. So now we got to flip it over, put the drive shaft housing on and the drive shaft, and then I think we'll be ready to stick the motor in. All right, so the drive shaft is in. Like I said, it is good to go. And now I just went ahead and popped open the electrical box. And this thing is really just a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all figured out, probably put some new connectors on it. And then I think we will go ahead and throw the motor in. So I think we got the electrical issues figured out. I'm really not sure. I'm just gonna have to plug it in to see. So now we are ready to stick the motor in and put the exhaust on and tighten everything up and i think we should be able to see if this thing you know actually starts so uh let's have a little, quick little speed run to get everything buttoned up and see if this thing will fire off So we just got the motor thrown in, the exhaust, all the electrical hooked up. So now we're ready to throw a battery in it and we'll go ahead and pull the spark plugs first. Just make sure we have spark. And if we do, then we'll go ahead and throw some gas down this uh, top hat and see if she fires off. All right, so we just got the battery hooked up and we have the spark plugs here. So now we're gonna go ahead and test our spark. Looks like first one's good. And the second one's good. Heck yeah, so now we're uh, gonna pop those in and probably pour some gas on the intake. See if this thing fires off. Yes, sir. <laughs> She's gonna fire. Dude, 
you do this cam. This thing did fire off, which is awesome, and everything sounds really good and healthy, so that is good to go. The only problem is I cannot get it to run under its own power or under its own you know, fuel supply. So we're probably gonna need a carb rebuild at least. So we're probably gonna do that off camera and just get this thing dialed up and hopefully be ready for the summer and have just another extra ski in the fleet. So yeah, good to go. All right guys, so that's actually gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, really helps me out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the little one day build of the 650SX and hopefully you guys will see it, you know, ripping it up this summer. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.